provenance is a word that excites me very much because there is more behind an object than is often being considered. You might have seen the word provenance in a museum setting, whether that is in an exhibition or as an object text or somewhere else. Provenance usually means the record and history of ownership of an object, how it gotten into its collection. A good provenance um, tells a story with evidence of how an object from its fine spot, in the case of an archaeological object, or the artist, uh, in, the case of an, uh, in the case of a painting, came into different collections all the way up into the present day. An unclear or an unknown provenance can be problematic for two main reasons, legality and ethically. Legally, because uh, countries for decades and even sometimes centuries have put legislation in place to stop the looting and illegal export from their uh, areas. Uh, but also ethically it is important because objects into collections whether it's in museums or in private collections, uh, have been taken in a time when power relations were often imbalanced. During the 19th and early 20th centuries, Western explorers went to the Middle East to explore, to study, but also to extract thousands and thousands of objects that ultimately came into museums in Europe and North America. The way these objects were extracted from uh, Middle Eastern grounds uh, can be ethically problematic, as this can have been done by deceit, um, uh, but also in extreme cases by warfare or by using extreme violence. In history classes you might have learned that objects have a certain historical significance. However, objects do not carry just one significance or one meaning. Objects have multiple meanings that, that, that change over time and that change by the users that actually use them. Um, so just as you can write, just as humans have complex life stories from which you can write an, a biography, objects have equally complex life stories from which all biographies can be written. Writing such object biographies, as we would say, is of extreme importance, not just for legal reasons or for academic purposes, but its extreme importance also towards the descendant communities from which these objects were taken. Therefore, doing proper due diligence into how these objects came into the collections, so in terms of getting a good provenance, is of extreme importance uh, for the museums for various reasons. It's therefore that it is embedded into the Code of Ethics for the International Council of Museums. Uh, which, to which most museums in the world adhere to, uh, including those in Finland. So, writing a careful biography is of extreme importance for legal, for academic, but also for ethical reasons. And, and, and it gives insights into the different meanings that these objects carry with, with them. That is the reason why provenance and object biographies are so important and why I I'm fascinated by it.